Sun Heather School. And I'm James Jarman. And first up, a shocking development in the case of the woman known as the fatal attraction killer. Jennifer Reale was sentenced to life in prison for killing her lover's wife in Colorado Springs in the early 90s. Her sentence was later commuted. In a story you'll only see here, we've learned Reale could now be facing a death sentence of her own. And I shot. And she fell. That was Jennifer Reale then. 1992, convicted of first degree murder in the death of Diana Hood. Reale went from mother and wife to the notorious fatal attraction killer. She wanted to know if murder was the same kind of sin as any other. The shocking crime's been dramatized on investigation discovery. She openly admitted to shooting Diana Hood. Reale, dressed in camouflage, shot her lover's wife, Diane, as she left a lupus support group in Colorado Springs. This was premeditated, planned, and carried out. That is the definition of first degree murder. My name is Lieutenant Joe Kenda. I've solved almost 400 homicides. Retired Colorado Springs Police Lieutenant Joe Kenda helped to solve the murder. She was a cold-blooded killer. She was there by herself. Her assistant and co-conspirator wasn't present. Reale would be sentenced to life in prison in 1992, a sentence that would be commuted by Governor Ritter less than 20 years later. Sorry, I, I don't like that word because it's so, it doesn't fit the enormity of this tragedy. It allowed the convicted killer to be transferred to this halfway house and considered for parole, something that doesn't sit well with Lieutenant Kenda. But along comes a group of people who speak about how things are different now and how we should forgive and how we should forget. I'm not into forgiveness and I'm not into forgetting either. Each time Reales tried to get parole, she's been denied. A few weeks ago, another attempt. Could you please state your age and your date of birth, please? I'm 52. She tells the judge what led up to the murder. In 1990, I got involved with uh, someone who was not my husband. Um, it was a fairly, well, unhealthy relationship. Of course, it's an affair, so it would be. And then... Do you think your sentence was appropriate? Yeah. If a life sentence for taking someone's life is appropriate, then why should we let you out early? That's a really good question. I believe that I could probably serve society a lot better out than in. Later, the bombshell. I've been diagnosed with pancreatic cancer, which no, nobody was expecting. Pancreatic cancer, a disease considered largely incurable by health experts. A death sentence in and of itself. I would like the chance to live, to um, be able to be on this side of this horrible thing and, and in some way help other people not go down the same road I went. Reale's request is again denied, but it's not completely off the table. For the investigator, it's a privilege the real victim will not and cannot ever know. I would like to know who among this group of people I could speak to to arrange Diane Elaine Hood an early release from her grave. And Jennifer Reale is again up for parole next October. Brian Hood, Diane's husband, was convicted of second-degree murder and conspiracy and will be eligible for parole in February of 2016. Well, the death penalty.